My name is Brendan Bannon. I'm a photographer. Do You See What I See is a UNHCR project that gave children living in refugee camps an opportunity to explore and explain their lives through photography and writing. Do You See What I See gives children a chance to share their vision of the world and in so doing to challenge viewers' preconceptions about the everyday lives of children living in refugee camps. The photography assignments were designed to allow the kids to fully explore the range of human experience. Here we get a full picture of refugee life. People live in a small community in a small part of the world, but their experiences are not small. They're as expansive as the human experience is anywhere. They miss their parents when they don't see them. They love their siblings. They exercise, they cook, and sleep and dream. They flirt and fall in love and they'll form families of their own, either in the refugee camp or in their home country if peace can be found. Life continues. It's not to say that their experience in every way is identical to others. Family stories are filled with pain and cataclysmic loss, and in some cases, recovery. Dreams are capped by fate. A business-minded person can only conduct business on the small stage of a refugee camp. An actor's performance may only be seen by hundreds of neighbors. They would like to be part of the world outside the fences of the camp. In this way, what makes them different also makes them the same as anyone on the other side of the fence. There was a sense of compassion among the kids that was profoundly moving to me. During one class session, one of the younger children, an orphan, broke down crying. His parents had been killed in the war. The response from the class was one of compassion, clear and total compassion. The room cried with him and didn't see his breakdown as weakness, but as an expression of something that they shared either in actuality or in dread. One of the children, Idolina, photographed a girl turned toward a cloud-filled horizon and used the image of isolation and loneliness to highlight the resilience and hope of humanity. She wrote, There was a girl of ten years, and she felt lonely in this world. She may be little, but for her, it is her right to fight for happiness in the world. We are inundated with images of tragedy, but rarely do we see what happens after the initial moment that that tragedy strikes. People have an incredible capacity for renewal and regeneration. This project is about people facing a situation that is seemingly impossible to cope with, and then defying expectations by dealing with it in a positive and creative way. At the end of the course, the children gathered and said, thank you for not only teaching us photography, but also for giving us a chance to understand ourselves better. We were able to talk to our parents for the first time about our past. Finally, we understood why and how we came to be refugee children. For the first time, the children opened a dialogue with their parents about the past, and they understood each other better. These people have strong voices, and they are voices that we need to hear. I said I'm a refugee, a victim of discrimination, violated. But what can I do? Being a refugee is not simple. It's a long process. I'm studying very hard to become someone in the future. 
to rebuild my country. That's my objective.